Hey guys, it's Jennifer Nicole here. Unboxing video of Jubilee. Alright, so I saw a little ad that said, hey, Jubilee is giving out a free box as long as you are willing to pay shipping. Well, that's not really what the ad said, but that was the gist of what it meant. So I'm going to just be showing you what is in here. Um, I said an unboxing and it, I will be showing you the box and how it's packaged and everything, but I have tried out these products for the last week just because I wanted to give you a good review on the products and what I think of them. So first, when you open the, open the package, it just says Jubilee on the front here, and you open it up and it comes with this nice cardboard. There's the products inside, which we'll get to in a minute. And then there's this 50% off your next purchase, which I feel like is a really good deal since this box was free other than the shipping. And $2.50 for shipping is just really not bad at all. And then if you want to return or cancel your subscription, it says how to email and contact them, which I think is really great and nice. I heard that in the past Jubilee wasn't the best with canceling your subscription. They're great now. It's, it's not hard at all. And then it just has different information about the box. There's also Jubilee products available at Amazon, Nordstrom, QVC, and Ulta Beauty. And so it just gives you a nice place on where you can go to get the Jubilee products. So love that. So now I'm going to be showing you what I got in my box. Um, I did order just the beauty. You can order like the beauty, just the nail polish, or a mix of both. And I ended up getting a nail polish. I'm assuming that's just because, because it was their first free box. I think it's just because they want you to sample all of their products, which is fine. So the first thing I got is this nail polish, and it's a nice, beautiful till shade. Now, I don't love the nail polish. I knew I wouldn't like nail polish just because I never use nail polish. Like I said, I always use gel. But let me show you beyond that why I'm not a huge fan. So I'm going to apply it just on top of this color. And I don't know if you'll be able to see, but... It looks better on top of here, but it is a very opaque sheer color. I tried to apply it. I was going to wear it today just with because I, I hadn't put my gel nails on yet, and I thought that it would be good to just kind of show it, but it was so sheer that you had to apply so many layers, and it, I just didn't like it. It was kind of clumpy and patchy. Me, personally, I don't like it. I don't know if it was just this shade or if all of their nail polishes are like that. This nail polish is actually pretty sp expensive. I think if you were to purchase it at Ulta, I think it's around $14. If I'm wrong, I'll put it in the description box. Next is this Jubilee lip gloss. It's called Brilliance, and it's in the shade Enchanted. Now, I actually really like the color of this gloss. It's a really nice pink shade. I'll show you what it looks like. So here it is on the back of my hand, and it's really bright and beautiful. I'll show you. I'll apply it on top of what I have going on right now. So I had a metallic liquid lipstick on, so there's kind of a lot going on right now, but this is actually a pretty opaque color for a gloss, and I actually really like the formula. It's very hydrating, creamy. It almost kind of feels like an oil gloss. It's real. I actually really like it and enjoy it. So that for me was great. Um, again, I almost always wear matte lipsticks, which I shouldn't because I have very dry lips, but I just don't like the transferring of lip products, and so I normally am not a huge fan of gloss, but this one kind of just won me over because it is a really nice formula. Now, my favorite thing of all that I feel like knowing about this product, I would repurchase it, and I would buy it again and again, is this um, Gree Tea, I'm going to... Kojay, Kojak, I don't know how you say that. I'm going to slaughter it, so I'll just put it in the screen here. Sponge, and when you pull it out, it's just, it's a little bit damp when you pull it out, and then you just hang it to dry after you use it. So you just, um, you can apply your face wash to it, or you can just use it wet with water. I like to apply a moisturizing scrub. I have one that is a little bit too rough, and I find that because the little balls soak into here, it's a little bit more gentle on my skin. Now, I've only been using this for five days, and I've actually noticed a huge difference in my skin, and the skin texture has kind of decreased. I wash my, wash my face all the time, morning and night, but I feel like with using this, I've had a more gentle yet more effective exfoliation. 
and it's just kind of brought to head whatever underlying I had some acne and stuff underneath my skin some problem areas like whiteheads and it's pulled that out and it's just really cleaning and exfoliating my skin in a really pleasant way so this is something I would repurchase a lot it came with a little hook that has the suction cup on it and that it wouldn't suction and so it just kept falling so I just have this this hanging on a on a different hook this product is amazing and you can just rinse it out and reuse it I really really enjoy that and would definitely repurchase that again okay so that is everything that came in the box overall I feel like the packaging is really nice the delivery was really quick again I wouldn't recommend the nail polishes just because my experience with them so far isn't great but I feel like, you know, obviously for what I paid for it, it was great. But even if I had spent, I think it's $15, a little bit more, I really, really enjoy this sponge a ton. And I feel like this gloss is actually really high quality. So I definitely think it's worth trying. In the past, I've always said, you know, stay away from subscription boxes because it's nicer to just spend your money where you're choosing to spend the products. My views on that have kind of changed because I've gotten a few subscription boxes and I end up loving most of the products. And even if you just love one, you're usually getting a better value than you would just purchasing that product. And it's a nice way to try new things. I'm still kind of torn on them. I definitely think saving up your money and buying one really nice item is going to be more beneficial. But if you really don't know what you want or you really want to try something new, I really think subscription boxes is a great way to go. And if you do purchase Jubilee, I would suggest doing just their beauty boxes. And I would wait around for some type of deal or promotion. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it and were able to kind of learn a little bit more about Jubilee and decide if it's something that you want to spend your money on. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye.